from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, hopefully everyone had a nice weekend. Unfortunately, we got another heat wave to talk about uh, this week across the area. Some big time heat on the way. Dangerous heat. Uh, air temperatures will be in the upper 90s to lower 100s pretty much each and every afternoon. And of course, those heat indices will be much higher than that. So we'll take a detailed look at the numbers in just a second. But first, here's the upper level pattern. And again, it's all going to be centered around this uh, ridge of high pressure. And uh, essentially, that's going to be keeping the pattern and pretty steady over the next several days. It's going to peak for us for the middle and latter parts of the week. So that's when we'll see our uh, highest high temperatures. Uh, but uh, still, we are going to be pushing well up well into the upper 90s, lower 100s each and every day. And in this type of weather weather pattern, you often see what's uh, referred to as the ring of fire. So right underneath that ridge, you get hot, relatively dry conditions. That's what we'll see here locally over the next several days. But on the outer periphery of that high, High. You often see stronger showers and storms and across our part of the world. They're generally moving to the southeast and we sure enough. We see one of those complex of storms late this evening across the Arc La Miss and that's going to be diving southward. Uh, it'll get awfully close to the area, but generally should be on a weakening trend by tomorrow morning. But still, I think we'll see some debris clouds from those uh, storms, at least for the first half of the morning, and then skies will gradually turn mostly sunny into the afternoon. Pretty clean sweep on power Doppler three uh, late this evening, so I don't really foresee too many issues overnight tonight. Quickly out in the tropics, uh, we were tracking tropical storm Cindy, but actually good news to report an update here. This is now just the remnants of Cindy and like bread, it was pretty much torn apart by some strong upper level wind shear, so it didn't really stand a chance, but uh, thankfully that is no longer and rest of the tropics at this time pretty quiet so we'll take that for sure so here we go in the short term temperatures dropping into the upper 70s to lower 80s that's where we'll start the day tomorrow again I think we'll have to contend with some cloud cover at least for the first half of the morning but then skies gradually turn mostly sunny into the afternoon quite hot upper 90s some spots certainly could touch 100 degrees of course those heat indices much higher than that a southwesterly wind will come in at around 6 to 12 miles per hour hour rain chances no better than 5% that's pretty much where they are going to remain for the entirety of the upcoming week near 80 is where we'll start Tuesday mostly sunny into Tuesday afternoon with highs once again upper 90s to lower 100 so let's take a detailed look at these temperatures and overall for our overnights early mornings we're going to see those lows pretty much right around 80 degrees and then highs climbing upper 90s to lower 100s but that only tells half the story of course around here you factor in the humidity it's going to be uh, feeling hotter than that tomorrow. Anywhere uh, peak heat, heat indices will say 110. So that may be upwards to 115 in spots. Pretty similar numbers as we head into Tuesday afternoon. But these numbers probably creeping up even a little bit more than that Wednesday through Friday as that ridge of high pressure pretty much sits right on top of us. When is it going to be the hottest again? Mid late morning into the afternoon hour. So if you know you're going to be outdoors during that time period, just take it easy. Drink plenty of fluids and that is especially true for the children and the elderly. 79 will be your projected low tonight. A pretty quiet night ahead. Fair to partly cloudy skies and for tomorrow again some clouds in the morning, but generally skies turning mostly sunny into the afternoon. Heat advisory in effect and get used to that. It's pretty much going to be with us uh, each and every day this week. 99 your projected high. A south to southwesterly wind will come in at 6 to 12. Look at these high temperatures for the week ahead. Pretty much pushing lower 100s Tuesday through the uh, following Saturday. So some big time uh, heat here across the Acadiana. Eventually heat indices ranging 110 upwards to 120 in spots, especially for the mid and latter parts of the week. It'll stay warm and muggy for our overnights near 80. Rain chances no better than 5%. But Taylor, hopefully uh, we get to see a little bit of a break in the pattern with some slightly better rain chances returning into the early parts of next week. But we gotta we gotta be patient because that's still some time. <laughs> okay. Get ready, y'all. It's gonna be a yeah, hot multiple one. days of some very hot weather. Oh, good news as always. Thanks, Bradley. Coming.